Thomas Harriet, The Discovery of a Scientific Pioneer Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to delve into the fascinating life and work of a largely overlooked scientific figure, Thomas Harriet. Though a contemporary of greats like Shakespeare and Galileo, Harriet's contributions to science went largely unpublished during his lifetime. Harriet, born in the late 1500s in England, was a true polymath, a master of many fields. He excelled in mathematics, astronomy, and even cartography, the science of map making. But perhaps his most significant and often uncredited discovery was the sine law of refraction. The sine law describes how light bends when it travels between different mediums, like air and water. This principle is fundamental to our understanding of optics and has countless applications, from designing lenses for eyeglasses to complex telescopes. While others, like Villebroard Snellius, are often credited with discovering the sign law, historical evidence suggests Harriet formulated it much earlier. Through meticulous observations and experimentation, likely in the 1590s, Harriet unraveled this law. Unfortunately, his findings remained unpublished, tucked away in personal notes. There are several theories about why Harriet never published his work. Some speculate health issues may have played a role while others suggest a reluctance due to the social climate of the time. Regardless of the reason, his unpublished discoveries delayed scientific progress for decades. Despite this, Harriet's impact shouldn't be diminished. He was a brilliant mind who not only made significant discoveries but also championed a meticulous, data-driven approach to science. His work, though delayed in recognition, serves as a testament to the importance of curiosity, experimentation, and thorough record-keeping in scientific exploration. The Farmers. Parade of History. Welcome, everyone. Today, we'll embark on a journey through time, exploring the intriguing history of a New Zealand retail giant farmers. The story begins in 1909 with Robert Laidlaw, a man with a vision. He established a mail-order company named Laidlaw Leeds, which later transformed into farmers. Initially, the focus was on convenience, offering a wide variety of goods through catalogs. This innovative approach resonated with New Zealanders, and farmers quickly expanded, acquiring stores and establishing a strong presence across the country. Early farmers' stores were more than just retail spaces. They became social hubs. They boasted elegant tea rooms, a welcome respite for shoppers, and even featured children's play areas, making shopping a family affair. They also hosted unique events, like the annual celebration of Hector the Parrot's birthday -us. The store had a beloved parrot mascot. These elements fostered a sense of community and brand loyalty that continues to this day. Farmers wasn't afraid to diversify. Believe it or not, their product range once included houses. Additionally, their in-house saddle factory supplied the armed forces, highlighting their adaptability and contribution beyond everyday goods. Fast forward to today and Farmers has transformed. Gone are the tea rooms and playgrounds, replaced by modern retail experiences with an emphasis on international brands. However, the core values of quality, community, and innovation remain. Farmers continues to be a household name in New Zealand, a testament to its remarkable ability to adapt and evolve throughout its rich history. A The Enduring Enchantment of Grimm's Fairy Tales Greetings, everyone. Let's shift gears and delve into the captivating world of Grimm's Fairy Tales. Compiled by the brothers Grimm, Jacob, and Wilhelm, this collection, originally titled Children's and Household Tales, has enchanted readers for over two centuries. While these stories are often enjoyed by children, Grimm's fairy tales hold a deeper significance. They represent a rich tapestry of European folklore, passed down orally for generations. The brothers Grimm meticulously collected and documented these tales, preserving a cultural heritage that might have otherwise been lost. Many of the stories we know and love come from this collection. Tales like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Hansel and Gretel. These narratives explore universal themes of good versus evil, perseverance in the face of adversity, and the triumph of the underdog. They also grapple with complex emotions like fear, jealousy, and the allure of forbidden knowledge. It's important to note that the original versions of these fairy tales can be quite dark and contain elements that might surprise modern audiences. The Grimms themselves sanitized some of the stories for their published collection, aiming to make them more suitable for children. However, the core themes and morals remain potent. Grimm's fairy tales offer valuable life lessons about honesty, hard work, and the importance of family. 
They also serve as a reminder of the timeless human desire for justice, love, and a happy ending. The enduring popularity of Grimm's fairy tales lies in their ability to spark our imaginations. They transport us to fantastical worlds, where magic and talking animals coexist with ordinary people. These stories resonate across cultures and languages, reminding us of the shared experiences and emotions that bind us together. So, the next time you pick up a copy of Grimm's Fairy Tales, remember that you're not just reading a children's story. You're embarking on a journey through history, culture, and the enduring power of the human imagination. Putting the brakes on climate change. A race against time. Good morning, everyone. Today, we face a critical challenge. Climate change. This complex issue threatens our planet's ecosystems, jeopardizes future generations, and demands immediate action. Climate change refers to the long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. It's primarily driven by human activities that release greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. These gases act like a blanket, trapping heat and causing the planet to warm. The consequences of unchecked climate change are dire. We can expect rising sea levels, threatening coastal communities and ecosystems. Extreme weather events like floods, droughts, and heat waves will become more frequent and intense. These changes will disrupt food production, displace populations, and endanger countless species. So, how can we put the brakes on climate change? The solution lies in a multi-pronged approach. Transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind power is crucial. This reduces our reliance on fossil fuels, the primary culprit behind greenhouse gas emissions. Investing in energy efficiency is another key strategy. This involves using less energy to accomplish the same tasks, like utilizing energy-efficient appliances and buildings. Additionally, sustainable practices like reforestation and responsible land management can help capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Individual choices also play a significant role. Reducing our carbon footprint by using public transportation, conserving energy at home, and adopting sustainable consumption habits can all contribute to the solution. The fight against climate change is a race against time. International cooperation, technological advancements, and a collective shift towards a sustainable future are essential. By working together, we can mitigate the worst effects of climate change and ensure a healthy planet for generations to come. John Franklin, The Discovery of the Northwest Passage. Attention, class. Today, we'll explore the life and legacy of John Franklin, a British explorer who became synonymous with a single elusive goal, the discovery of the Northwest Passage. The Northwest Passage is a hypothetical sea route that would connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans across the northern coast of North America. For centuries, explorers were captivated by the idea of this shorter, faster trade route between Europe and Asia. John Franklin, born in 1786, dedicated much of his life to this pursuit. He led several expeditions to the Arctic, enduring harsh conditions and facing numerous challenges. His meticulous documentation of these journeys provided valuable scientific data on the region's geography, climate, and indigenous cultures. However, Franklin's expeditions are unfortunately remembered for a different reason. Their tragic endings. His final expedition, launched in 1845, met with disaster. The two ships became trapped in pack ice, and the crew, including Franklin himself, perished. Search expeditions continued for years, unearthing fragments of the lost crew's story. While the exact cause of their demise remains unclear, it likely involved a combination of factors like starvation, disease, and harsh environmental conditions. Though Franklin never found the Northwest Passage himself, his relentless pursuit ultimately contributed to its eventual discovery in the 20th century. His meticulously documented journeys provided invaluable information for later explorers. John Franklin's story serves as a reminder of the dangers and challenges of polar exploration. It also highlights the unwavering human spirit of discovery and the enduring allure of the unknown.